Sam from Sheridan Computers, um, and I want to continue with my FreeNAS videos. So on this video, I'm going to go through how to create shares, users, groups, and everything like that. If you need help getting FreeNAS installed, um, I've previously done a video on that. If you need, and then once you've actually got it installed, you'll need to configure it, and you'll also find a video on that as well. And I'm using FreeNAS 11.3 Release Candidate 2 for this. Um, so if we go ahead and log into FreeNAS. If log in with root. If I remember what the password was. Okay, so a common scenario is, say we've got um, an accounts department and we need a share creating specifically for accounts. Um, so we're going to need to create some people, stick the people in the accounts group and give them access to an account share. So let's do that. So if we go into uh, storage, pools, we've got our main pool tank. So if we go and create a data set of that for our accounts department. Accounts data, yeah, we'll leave compression on. The rest of it looks good to me. So now we have our accounts data set, um, which we're gonna to need to share. Oh, in fact, uh, yeah, we're gonna to need to share. It makes no difference, I'll do it this way. So we're going to Windows Shares, Add, um, select the path for it, which is our accounts one. Um, we'll call this accounts as well. Accounts share. Um, shadow copies enabled. That's fine. Just leave the rest as defaults. Click save. Um, configure permissions for this data set now. I'm not going to do that. I'll do that in a minute. Um, right. So we've got our accounts share. So we need some people. So let's go and create a user. In fact, let's create a group first. So go to groups, add accounts. So we have our accounts group. And add a user in. Password. Um, this is not home share. We don't want other people to access it. Uh, for the shell, I'm going to set this to no login because you don't need to be able to um, access the box as such. So now we have our user Sam. So if we make sure Sam is a member of the accounts group. Stick Sam in there. So we've got group, accounts, we've got our user Sam, and Sam is a member of the accounts group. So if we go back down to sharing, we've got our accounts share, and we need to set up the permissions for it. Okay, this is a bit different. So, um, default ACL options. Open. Basically, sets it so everyone can access it. We want restricted. Um, you can see it's, if you're good to rest um, restricted, it's removed the other uh, permissions. So, for this group, we're going to make the owner uh, accounts. Owner's got full control, and the group full control. Um, apply permissions recursively. Is that, you might want to tick that if you've got other folders below it. If you do that, you get a warning telling you that it will modify the permissions of its children. Make a difference. Save. 
So that's hopefully it. So, I try to access it. Use a Sam. Um, and there's our accounts folder. Try and create a folder in there. Um, so that's fine. So if I go back into accounts, groups, and I remove me from that group. Go back into our accounts folder. So I've been removed from the group, but I can still access this folder um, because I was authenticated with the server at the time. So to update the permissions, let's go to services, restart the Samba service. And now if I try to get into it, I can't. So you do have to restart this. I would recommend restarting the um, SMB service whenever you're making changes. Um, so let's go ahead and create another share. Um, Sorry, storage, pools. Want to create another data set for a public share. So public, um, yeah, that's all we need. So now if we go and create that as a share, let's go into sharing, window shares, add. Public. Do you want to configure the permissions for it? Yes, we do. And I'm just going to have this as open so everybody can access it. So now we've got our public share. Now I'm refreshing this and we can't. No, it's just not appearing. Um, now this is what I suggested by every time you do update the anything on here with to regards with users, uh, shares, permissions, anything like that to restart the Samba service. And that was that. We can go ahead creating. So I still can't access my accounts folder because I'm not in the accounts group. Um, so I go to groups, accounts, members. Let's put some back in there. Okay, so that's done. Um, so we go back here we still can't get in and you can probably guess because we've um, added Sam to the group the SMB service is not aware of that so we need to restart it so now We'll be able to get him and access it as armor. Um, okay, so let's so that's done. Sam can access accounts and Sam can access public. 
Um, so let's go ahead and create another user. So let's create a user. Um, so I have Tom Jones. So let's go into groups. Let's create a new group. And we'll call it projects. So now we have our projects group. So if I go into projects, I set that to, oh, sorry, projects, members, and I put Tom in that. Um, let's go down and create a data set for it. data set. Oh, didn't want to get a new pool. Let's add a data set to the existing pool. Cause projects. My project. Um, save that. So now we've got our product share. Her data set, sorry. So now we've got the data set projects. We need to create the share for the projects. So if we go into sharing, window shares, add projects. Now you'll notice I just click save there without to put in any name or description in. It will just fill the name in the same as the um, folder that I'm selecting. So if I do configure now. Um, so this is restricted. And I'm going to make our own project and save that. Let's go in and restart the service. So now we have a projects folder. <clears throat> so Sam is not in the projects group, so Sam shouldn't be able to access that, which can't. So if we log into that again, let's just close this window. Not you, sorry. <coughs> I'm just doing this so I don't need to restart my machine. Okay. So again. So if we just check the use. So yeah, we've got nothing connected to 108. So now if we go to login again, because we've deleted any connections to any shares, we can now log in as Tom. So now Tom's logged in. Tom cannot get into the accounts folder. Tom can get into the public folder. Um, and Tom can get in projects. So, um, if we want to give Tom access to the accounts group, again, we're going to go into accounts groups, 
find the accounts group members Tom stick Tom in there and because we've made changes we need to restart the uh, SMB service so now if we go back over here Tom can now get in the accounts group Um, so it's pretty easy to do that. Um, now if we go into uh, sharing, Windows shares, and I delete the project share, um, I'm going to go into storage, pools, that's going to delete the project data, share, data set as well. Taking projects to confirm. So now that's gone. And if we refresh, as you can guess, projects is still here. So you can see I keep doing this to. Um, the biggest problem with other permissions is not restarting the SMB service after you've made a change. Um, so if we go into services, SMB, turn it off. And then we turn it back on. Refresh that, our projects are gone. Um, so the new version of Freenos seems to work really well for, um, it's been really simple for creating shares. I say the biggest hang up is having to, remembering to restart the SMB service. It'll create you all sorts of problems. Um, if you create a user in a group and then you try and uh, give it access to a share and you forget to restart that service you're going to give yourself a headache wondering why you can't get access if you don't start the, if you do not start the SMB service um, so that's my biggest tip after you've made any changes restart the SMB service and you'll be good um, so if I come off this and I disconnect from there so let's use Ten dot one oh, ten dot one ten dot one oh eight forward slash accounts forward slash delete public uh what else have we got IPC dollar net use you've got nothing connected to there so Got interrupted then because the phone rang. Um, so we can log back in as Sam again. And we have access to our stuff. So that was um, an overview of creating data sets, sharing them, adding users, groups, and mainly protecting them by group, uh, which seems to be the most common way. Um, but you can see under free now is 11.3. Uh, They've made it quite simple and straightforward to do. So I hope that video helps everybody struggling with permissions because I know that um, the way Samba works can be a pain in the ass. Um, we're all good for this video. If you would like to hire us, um, please head over to our website, sheridan.co.uk, and fill out the contact form. Um, leave some details on what you're looking for and what we can help with, and um, we'll get back to you. Um, if you made it this far and you managed to watch the end of the video, I know this was quite a long one compared to, uh, I do try to keep them short, um, please go ahead and click the subscribe button um, and click the notification icon so you get the notifications of new videos. Um, you are helping me get going with this channel because I've only been doing this for a couple of months, so um, thank you very much.